Hi, Scott Colesworthy here, and we are talking about podcasts. Uh, why do you want to listen to them and a few tactics about how it can be a good experience for you? Well, the first thing is that, you know, what I always thought is, hey, I don't have time for this. I'm a busy guy. I got things going on, things going on. But the fact is there really is a lot of time during life when you can listen to podcasts and it makes the time even better, such as when you're exercising, when you're driving to appointments, et cetera. So when you're driving, if you don't have a fancy car, my wife's driving the fancy car with the audio system, uh, get something like uh, earbuds. You know, I used to hate things that went in my ears. These are really good though. I, I didn't, you know, it's been awesome. So when you drive, it's legal. My understanding is anyway, to have one of them in your ear, not both. And um, you can't do something like this while you're driving down the road. And this is uh, way too hot when I exercise uh, as well. Uh, when you start to get into podcasts, um, don't just listen to uh, random things. If you pick one or two in your industry, you'll find that they will lead to leading to other podcasts. Um, it, it's kind of a self-fulfilling thing on how you find the content. So you really don't have to go searching endlessly. Other things I'll mention about people who are doing this is that um, if you're doing it in your field, the people who do these, they're all high performers. So yeah, there's pooches once in a while and you recognize it pretty fast and you just move on and don't listen to it anymore. But, uh, you know, you give an example of the podcast that uh, Scott Ingram is doing. These are all really high performing people. And I'm pretty much getting nuggets out of everyone I listen to. And it's led to a lot of other people and podcasts I've listened to. As far as what you do with the information uh, or what you do with the people, I should say, um, many times you want to connect with some of these people, you know, and not to sell them, but to get inside their network. and start to become a thought leader yourself. And when you do that, when you reach out to them on LinkedIn, I've never had someone cold shoulder me. They always connect. And if you really like the person and really want to get their take on something, uh, you know, you can probably arrange a 10 minute phone call. Most people are pretty receptive to that. Um, and I think the only other thing I'd say is uh, don't just listen to podcasts in your field. Also, do things that might stretch yourself. So uh, there's a little variety. Otherwise, they tend to get stale, and it gets to be like work when you're just listening to the same stuff all the time. Uh, you know, go to some podcasts that are more um, esoteric, if you will, mind-bending, uh, things like, um, oh, I forgot the name of the one, um, Tim Ferriss. It's a little, little wooey, but uh, uh, if you're patient, there's some good stuff. So hopefully that's been helpful for you jump in. It really is worth your time. Thanks and good selling out there.